Hi there, I'm Irk, and this is my channel, Get Irked. In this episode, we're going to take a look and see if things have gotten sunnier in the green energy space by revisiting the Invesco Solar ETF with the ticker symbol TAN. I've made previous videos about the Invesco Solar ETF with the ticker symbol TAN, so if you want to learn more about the specifics about the ETF and what's in it, stick to the end of this video and I will have those videos in the end screen. The purpose of this video is to revisit TAN for people who don't currently have a position drawing a buying plan of its current price action from 2022, and then also revisiting my own position and where it's come from since the last update. Looking at TAN on a chart, what we're going to do is we're going to start by drawing a Fibonacci retracement from its 2022 high down to its 2022 low so that we can have levels of resistance where we can see where TAN may be pulling back as it works its way back up. Next, we're going to draw a Fibonacci retracement from TAN's 2022 bottom to its recent high so we can develop levels of support where it might be able to stop on its way back down. When we zoom in on the chart, you can see that these different Fibonacci retracement levels do provide both resistance and support while the stock moves around. And you can see that this 23.6% retracement at $72.16 does provide some interesting support in the past. However, taking a look at this as if I didn't already have a position, I'd probably shoot for this day here or maybe even the low of this day here at $74.53 as the place where I'd make my first buy. Because the markets have been so volatile lately, I wouldn't start with a 50% allocation like I normally do. I'd actually start with a 25% allocation and then save the 75% to do 10% buys on the way down as the ETF sells off. Looking at the chart, you can see down here at $69.13, we have a lot of price action around this Fibonacci retracement. So that actually would be my next buy at $69.17. After that, we pulled down to the 78.6% retracement at $63.15. And you can see that once again, we do have a lot of price action around this point. And I'd probably use the low of this day at $63.58 as my next buy. Following that buy, you can see we can come down to its low of the year at $55.00 and 54 cents but this day has a very significant stop down here at 56 dollars and eight cents so that would be my next buy in order to find additional buys we have to zoom back out on the chart and you can see that our fibonacci retracement has given us a level down here at the 127.2 percent retracement level at 45 dollars and 86 cents however if you go back into the past you can see that this day here has a much more significant stop right around 48 dollars so that would be my next buy after that, you can see there's a pretty big gap until our next retracement level down here at $33.55. So I would find my next buy by looking at the chart and seeing the price action of these days here and be able to make my next buy around $40.84. After that, when we come down to this retracement level, you can see that it does find quite a bit of support above it. There was this day here where it pulled back significantly, but I'd probably look at these days here to find some price action where I'd want to make my next buy around $35. After this, I'd skip the retracement level and I'd find my next level of significant support and I find this day here to be very interesting so I'd probably use the low of this day around $30 as my next buy and that would give us a full allocation of 95%. I would save that additional 5% allocation to buy at the low of the pandemic if we actually got that low. And I'd look at this day here at $21.46 to put that money to work. From here, let's take a look at my own position and where it's come from from my last video. In my last update, I had made a buy on January 6th of 2022 at $68.95, which left my position with a per share cost of $75.35. And from here, we let it go a little bit to see where the price action would take us. I made my next buy on February 23rd at $59.61, and this purchase lowered my per share cost 2.08% down to $73.78. I used the low that we saw in February of 2022 to make my next buy target, and that was filled on May 12th of 2022 when TAN bottomed for the year down here at $55.54. My buy filled at $56.57, which lowered my per share cost another 2.13% to $72.21. And from here, I decided to let TAN run for a little while. 
When Tan rallied from the June lows into July, I started taking profits, with my first profit taking on July 27th at $75.83. And then when the market started feeling frothy in August and I was taking profits pretty much everywhere in my entire portfolio, I made another sell on September 7th at $87.60. The combined sales lowered my per share cost 4.99% down to $70.10. And from here, my next buy target is a Above the 2022 low at $56.60, and my next sell target is below $100, a key psychological level of resistance at $98.90. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.